Welcome to a special edition of The Low Blow. I am, as always, Jorge Hernandez. Uh, remember that you can always follow us at uscombatsports.com, on Twitter, at The Low Blow, or on Facebook. Go ahead and like our page and follow us there at Low Blow MMA Boxing Podcast. Today, we are pleased to actually be joined by the queen of boxing, Holly Holm. 30-0, and 9 KOs, and also a mixed martial artist of an undefeated record of 2-0 and with 2 KOs. How are you doing, Holly? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing really well. It's a pleasure to actually have you on. Um, on Friday, December 2nd, I mean, you're getting set uh, there at Route 66 Casino set to, you know, to perform in what is the biggest female fight. I mean, and it has to be in years with Anne-Sophie Matisse from uh, France, 25-1 and with 20 KOs. Uh, it's, it's fast approaching. How's training going? You know, it's been a really good training camp. I was just telling, you know, one of my training partners uh, this morning when we were running that I just, I really feel um, like it's been a good training camp. I have no injuries. I feel healthy. I feel energetic. And, you know, it all comes down to just making it happen the night of the fight. And that's how I always feel. I just have to perform that night, but I really have no excuses or, or no complaints. My training camp's been great. And when it comes to, you know, training for someone that's, you know, that's going to be, you know, at least three inches taller than you, how do you actually go about that? You know, there's, it's mostly what the, a lot of the girls probably game plan is against me. You know, they want to close the gap and get past the reach, which I'm going to have to do that. You have to close the gap in order to hit them. Um, but... I also feel like the angles in my footwork is going to be able to um, be a plus for me and just kind of work off those angles and, you know, work inside and outside. And, I'm, you know, this game plan is not always going to uh, – it's not going to be just a constant uh, keeping range and movement and try not to let them even engage. But um, I'll be able to be the one that wants to get inside and throw some inside shots as well. You've just uh, – in September you, you're coming off of a – TKO victory over Jan Finney there in, inside the cage. Um, how does training go? I mean, does MMA training actually wait aside? Do you incorporate both during, you know, whether it be an MMA fight coming up or a boxing match coming up? Um, as far as training, I definitely just focus on the fight right ahead of me. And so for MMA, I really, you know, I, I jump right into to doing everything, the kickboxing and the ground game and everything. And, and boxing, I'm really just... You know, this fight's such a big fight. I, I'm not doing any grappling right now. I'm just foc focusing on the boxing and um, it, more even just for a mindset, um, not just for the actual physical part of it, but even the mindset just to really be focused on, on my game plan for the boxing fight mm -hmm. and um, just focus on those things and per perfect the punches. And, um, you know, and nothing's ever perfect. I'm always trying to perfect my punches. Yeah. Have you been reading up on any of uh, of the interviews or any of the trash talking that Anne Sophie Matisse is actually doing about you? I mean, recently she was, you know, we actually had an interview with her. Unfortunately, she speaks French, so obviously it was an online interview about you that, you know, she actually mentioned that uh, since your dad's a, a preacher, that he better pray for your life on uh, December second. How do you feel about that? Yeah. You know, I really don't pay a lot of attention to it. Um, you know, I think a lot of people use different things to motivate themselves, and I think that maybe that might be her way of just trying to get motivated and get pumped up for the fight. Um, and on the other hand, if she really feels that confident, um, then she's probably walking in a little too confident. But um, I don't think that's the case. I think she's very aware of, um, you know, how big this fight is, and there's a, re there's a reason why she's at where she's at in her career is because she takes it seriously and she's a professional about it so I definitely think that it might just be to hype the fight or it's just her way of motivating herself yeah and you know it seems like a little bit that she's actually even overlooking you I mean you're ranked number one pound for pound the best female fighter but um, I mean I don't know how much you actually look forward to the fight after I mean it's really rare to actually do that with when it comes to female boxing because there's only a handful of individuals that are up there at the top and and Sophie Matisse seems to be overlooking you for a possible matchup with Cecilia Brekus in Germany. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, I hope she's overlooking me. I think that um, I don't look, overlook any opponent I get in the ring with, much less somebody who is 
ranked highly and has been. And I know that I've been ranked highly and been there for a while. Um, that doesn't mean that even the other fighters aren't a threat. That's why there's big upsets um, in sports. And so I don't overlook anybody. And so if she's overlooking me, I think that, you know, that's a mistake. But like I said, who knows? She might just be saying these things to make us think that. But I really feel like she's taking the fight seriously. I, it's hard for me to think any other way. Mm-hmm. And um, what about the possible contest with Cecilia? Was there ever talks between your promoters and her promoters? I mean, currently she holds three of the four belts in your guys' weight class. You obviously, you and Anne, Sophie Matisse, are actually fighting for the International Boxing Association welterweight title uh, December 2nd there at Route 66 Casino. So did anything about, about with her, possibly in Europe or here, ever come about? You know, these two fights have been fights we've been trying to put together. Um, both with Anne and with Cecilia. And so um, I definitely want to take take the fights, and um, I'm going to look forward to the fight with Cecilia if that follows through. Um, right now I'm really just focused, you know, on, on the fight at hand because that's the one that matters the most right now. And, you know, a lot of our coaches, um, we kind of say treat each fight like it's your last fight. Mm-hmm. Um, like you have no promises of tomorrow. Um, that way you don't, you don't overlook it mm. as it comes to you. And can you compare the anticipation for this fight to any others? I mean, does Mary Jo Sanders' bout actually match up with how much you're looking forward to a contest? You know, um, I had some fights that have been extra nerve wracking. Um, maybe haven't even, those fights maybe haven't even been my most physically tough. Mm. But mentally, just getting there has been definitely a challenge. Um, I think this fight, I don't feel as nervous, but I don't know if it's just over time. I am very nervous, but I think it's just in a different way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she's she's very accomplished, and she's um, she's coming very confident. And those, those are the fighters to fear. You know, she's confident in her game. And um, so I definitely want to counter that, but... I'm, I'm more trying to just be very real about it and understand the challenge I'm up against and not let my nerves get a hold of me, but definitely I don't want to look past. Um, so, I'm, you know, I, I, I know she has great strengths um, in her game, and I definitely want to try and counter those strengths that she has. And, um, you know, I just want to get into that fight. I don't, of course, we're still three weeks out, mm-hmm. but um, I'm always nervous for fights get so frustrated while I'm training. Today I was frustrated. Um, you know, I just, I really, uh, for this fight, I'm really just trying to stay strong and focused and just not be um, distracted. I just want to, I, I really more just really want to showcase a whole different game plan that I can put out there because this is the first time I've really been able to fight someone taller than me and I'm excited for that. Yeah. And what kind of things frustrate you during training, for example, I mean, today, what, what actually happened, or just in general, what is it that frustrates you? Oh, it's just, you know, when I'm sparring, if, if I get hit with something because I, I wasn't being so tight with what I was doing, or sure. if I'm kind of veering away from my game plan, then I get very frustrated, mm-hmm. because, of, you know, I know what I'm supposed to do, and I really want to try and make sure and do it right. I want to try and be, um, you know, I want to, per- perfection really is what it is. I, yeah. I hate when I don't do what I feel like I need to do. And, um, I just think, well, we definitely can't make those faults mm-hmm. when we have this fight on December 2nd, you know. And uh, But we always say in our gym when we have days like that, be glad it's in there in practice. And that way by the time you get to the fight, you're going to be uh, focused. Exactly. And do you have a message for any of your fans out there? You know, I'm just, uh, I hope they come watch the fight because this is a big fight and it's a privilege to be able to have this fight here in Albuquerque. So um, I definitely encourage everybody to come out and watch. And um, my, you know, I'm going to do my best to try and put on the, the best show. You know, there's a lot of people out there that they might be making minimum wage and they have to work a 
few hours just to buy a basic ticket. And, yeah. you know, so I want to be able to put on a show for those people that make that, um, make that effort to come to the fight. And so I really look forward to um, trying to do the best I can on this December 2nd. Sure. And the fight again is on Friday, December 2nd at Route 66 Casino, just outside of Albuquerque. Holly, the preacher's daughter, home against French KO artist Anne-Sophie Matisse for the WBAN and the IBA Welterweight Female Championships. Holly, it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Not a problem at all. Thank you.